it's on, yeah. It's on. Uh, hello everyone, it's me, Alex Francis, and how are you doing? Hope you're doing good anyway. So I have. Uh, thank you for the reply. Uh, yeah, how have you all been doing? You been doing good, okay. Yeah, same with me. Life has been amazing, and every day has been absolutely amazing. And we all have to thank Atari for that and their next generation console. As we all know, and I don't mind talking about it for the, uh, for the next 92 times, okay? Uh, Atari obviously announced pre-orders uh, last week or whatever. Was it last week? Yeah, last week. Oh my God. Crazy. Crazy. It's been amazing. This past week has been absolutely amazing. And uh, the pre-orders are going really, really well. Everyone wants the next generation of Atari. Everybody's saying screw Sony and screw Microsoft and whatever Nintendo's doing. And um, everyone's looking forward to seeing what Atari's doing at E3 this year. And I hope that they bring lots of stuff. I hope we get Phil Spencer announcing his discontinuation, the Xbox One, and um, making games for the Atari VCS. I hope that happens. And I also hope that the Sony president and the Nintendo president gets on board and says that they're going to be making games for us, okay? Because that's going to be amazing. I bet that's what's going to happen this year. Um, so I get excited. I bet that's what's going to happen this year. I bet Microsoft um, are going to say are going to come out. Their presentation is going to last about two seconds. Or some, I think uh, five seconds. And they're, they're just going to come out and say that the Xbox One is going to be discontinued. And all our games are going to be moving to the Atari VCS. Might annoy a lot of, um, it might annoy a lot of non-Atari troublemakers out there. But it's amazing for us. So it is. Uh, I think that Sony's going to do the same thing. I think they're going to announce uh, Uncharted 5, the Atari box. That would be amazing. And uh, that we're also going to get Halo 6 for the Atari box. Um, that would be amazing. Uh, and I don't know what Nintendo's going to announce. I hope that um, maybe we might get Mario Party 11 on the Atari VCS. That'd be amazing. Hope that happens, Nintendo. You know, used to make games for the Atari back in the day, so I hope that happens. Um, and um, and yes, it's to be amazing. Be amazing. You know what I mean? I hope all the announcements are about Atari. I hope that we get the new Assassin's Creed. On the Atari, that'd be amazing. I hope we get violent games on the Atari. That'd be amazing. And everything, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, apart from that, life has been really, really good and stuff. I had a great weekend. I had the best weekend ever. We uh, we watched films, so we did. We we did a. Um, what's the youngins? What what's that thing that the young youngins now call it? The young young people call it. Is it, is it an all nighter? I think that's what the young people call it. Yeah, we did an all nighter. We watched films and we played video games. Um, we played some of the um, uh, some of the Sony stuff. Um, we played on. Um, uh, PlayStation 4, um, Xbox One, which my sister's uh, boyfriend has. Uh, we actually played on the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, you know, the next-gen uh, Nintendo. We played on that as well, and it was amazing. You know, I was quite uh, shocked. I thought it was going to be a terrible piece of console, so it was. Uh, but it's absolutely amazing. A lot of great games on that. And it's got... Um, and it's got remastered backwards compatibility on it, so we can play Wii U games remade uh, backwards, you know, backwards compatible on Switch, which is great. You know what I mean? That is amazing. I'm glad that Nintendo included that feature in the Switch. You know what I mean? So yeah, we've got remastered backwards compatibility on Switch, which is amazing. So well done. Um, what else I gonna say? Um, I, I thought that this secret weapon was going to be the new Atari, but it turned out to be the Switch, which was good. Um, and um, also a thing was quite interesting was I actually got uh, my old Ouya console out. We played a bit of that. I thought my family and my friend were going to make fun of me and laugh at me. But no, we, we had a great time. We played some great games on the Ouya and we loved it and stuff. And I've just recently heard that the charging £20 brand new for the UEA consoles, which is amazing. You know what I mean? I might get a few. If that happened years ago, I would have bought a few just to impress the ladies. But um, I might still buy some um, uh, to try and impress the ladies before the Atari comes out, okay? Got one more year, you know what I mean? I could buy Ouya's, I could buy lots of Ouya's and try and impress the ladies before the next gen Atari comes out. 
Great idea, you know what I mean? That's a great idea. Some of you could try out, try that out. You could buy some ooyahs, try and impress the ladies and see what happens, okay? Um, what was I going to say? Um, so yeah, um, oh, I might buy another one as, as well, you know what I mean? Uh, just to keep for myself. But yeah, I could try and impress the ladies. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll stop saying that now. Um, and uh, life has been going really, really good, you know what I mean? Um, I, I know some people be trying to get me triggered. That's not been working because the time has been in the news lately and stuff. It's been amazing. The only news that would trigger me is if Atari discontinued this product before it released. That would annoy me, but that's never going to happen. Atari's going to win, and we're going to have Halo 6 and Uncharted 5. You know what I mean? Nathan Drake is going to be on Atari soon, okay? Prepare, Atari fanboys. Uh, it's, prepare, we're going to win. You know what I mean? And um, I've also heard rumours... From, um, what's, what's he called himself? I think he's called, um, Andrew the, uh, uh, the Andrew the Ouya fanboy. He's saying there's rumours that, uh, that Ouya 2 is going to be released. Ouya 2 is going to be announced. And if that happens, I don't know who I'll go for. I might have to wait. I might have to choose between the Atari VCS and Ouya 2, and I don't know who to go for. I might end up getting a Switch. I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, this little battle, you know what I mean? Between the Ouya 2, again, if this is true, the Atari VCS, and the Nintendo Switch, you know what I mean? And whatever Sony Microsoft to do, we don't care. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting battle, so it is, you know what I mean? I'm, I think my prediction at E3 this year is that Phil Spencer is going to announce the discontinuation of the Xbox One. There's going to be no more consoles. And because um, um, I think they, they've got their presentation this weekend. I bet this weekend will be the last day of the Xbox One. And from Monday next week, you won't be, you won't be able to buy Xbox Ones again. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a, an awful day for Xbox fans. You know what I mean? Um, but it's going to be a tremendous day for Atari fans. Yay! Yay! Think of the... Think of the possibilities, you know what I mean? It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Sorry, just excited. Just excited. So, yeah. I'm going to quit this video before I get too excited, okay? <laughs> just can't wait. Atari's back. Atari's back. We've waited so long. We have waited so long. Even the youngins don't know what Atari is, you know what I mean? Good luck to them in the future when the VCS comes out. Because you'll probably have their partners and boyfriends and girlfriends asking, what's that? That's not PlayStation or Xbox. Why buy this old piece of junk? You're going to have people saying that. You can't have that. You can't say the new Atari is a piece of junk. You can't say that. Because it's more powerful. It's going to be more powerful than what Sony Microsoft are doing and Nintendo Scoop doing. You know what I mean? I've heard the, the, the Atari VCS is more powerful than the Xbox One X. And at least it'll have games on it. And again, that will trigger people by no flipping care. Because we've got games coming out. So we have, you people, we've got games. We're going to have controllers. We're going to have everything. So prepare. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, oh yeah, fans. Be careful. Watch out. Watch out, because we will win, and we will strike. That's all I want to say. Hope you enjoyed this little presentation. There was a plan out. I was going to try and destroy E3. I was going to um, do a live stream of like six days of trying to interrupt the E3 presentation thingamabob. And... Uh, just tell people E3 is cancelled and that you can only watch the World Cup when it's on. So, yeah. Uh, so, bye all. Enjoy the rest of your day. And like your weekend. Okay? Like your weekend. Bye all.